Oh, sorry, I was looking at my cute baby staring at me. I'm running out. Do a little errand. Gonna get Sarah a cold peps. Gonna go pick up some breakfast at Ann Sather's. We've had a well needed, a much needed lazy morning. It's 10 15. I had to get up and do work stuff, but then Sarah and James came out to the living room and James snuggled with me on the couch. Yeah. Which has never really happened like that. Yeah. So that was very nice. But I have to go. They said five to ten minutes. They said five to ten minutes, like ten <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> I was supposed to go to 7 Eleven first. He's so sweet. package is but we have a UPS package that we were not home when it got delivered so it got dropped off at this access point which is pretty cool well I'm nervous about our food because the I had trouble with the access point here um it wouldn't take my ID so I had to call but then like I got to hold my my ID up to the camera and the woman verified it and opened up their box remotely but I picked up Sarah a big old Pepsi and I gotta walk down to Ann Sather's to pick up our breakfast Check it out, it's an ACS pack. It's from Jenna for Star Wars Virtual Race that's coming up. I'll show you the package when we get home. But there's a little cute, like, Darth Vader pencil lightsaber. Pecan rolls too. Oh dear. <laughs> and it was an ACS package. Right, we gotta show these because we're on the ground and Evie's gonna go nuts. <laughs> but they're Ooh. Peter got a wrap. What kind of, what kind of stuff is in there? Um I'd sewn with a chorizo and bell peppers. Yeah. And, and I got eggs benedict with country ham. <laughs> Hollandaise sauce. We got sides up in here. Mm. We got, these are Sarah's cinnamon rolls, and then I got biscuits. For dessert, we have the most delicious pecan rolls. I saw them, I was like, mm, oh my excuse gosh. me, how, <laughs> oh my how good are those pecan rolls? He said you'll never forget it. We are out of the house. It is the afternoon, and we're just gonna stroll, enjoy some of the neighborhood. We have an idea of where we're going, and it's four miles away. Yes. It's 60 degrees here in Chicago, which means it's basically summer. Feels so. really good. Our first stop, though, is right on Halstead, and it's called Out of the Closet, and it's a thrift store. the painting in my mom's front room. Unexpected second stop, Petco. Yes. We've been needing some no scoop for Eve for like yes. a week and a half. We ended up getting two books yeah. and an Easter shirt for me at the thrift store. So that was successful yeah. too. We'll show you those later. Yeah. And it was also like seven bucks. Yeah. Alrighty, we have made it to the Bloomingdale Trail or the 606. Alright, so this is about 2.7 miles of an old section of the elevated train to L that has been turned into a walking, running, exercising path with art and stuff throughout it. And there's multiple access points. Our friend Jenna from ACS told us about it. And so we're going to go on it for a while and maybe it, see what there is. Hop on, hop off. Yeah. We've never been on it before. Never. I'm definitely going to come over. I didn't even hear of this. 
But, and it's been here for like three years, I think. Really? Yeah, here's a, here's a better sign. You are on the Bloomingdale Trail, the centerpiece of the 606. It's the place where neighbors meet, folks walk, friends ride bikes, and runners take off. Come explore. So here's a little directional, and we're gonna head this way. Look at it, it looks so cool. We ventured off to get a little drinky drink and a snacky snack and look at who we found. We have seen plenty of Yolk restaurants but never a test kitchen, that's cool. It's at Milwaukee and Levitt if you're interested. Literally what we came to Aldi for, their brand cheeses. Have you ever heard? Because they are superior. This is a fancy Aldi. It's like a, like a three-mission like <laughs> like What? That's clever engineering right there. What do you do in the middle of the 606? You hop off, run into Aldi, grab some Red Bulls. I, I already showed the sheet. <laughs> now we're going back on, right? Yeah. When we were walking back up to the 606, I read this as the Julie D. Burger Park. Like her last name was Burgers. Julia of Burgers. I want a burger. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Where are you? I didn't know you were in... I, th I thought you were like a New York troop. Not Chi-Town. I don't know if you can hear it because the microphone's not on this. That is an ice cream truck. And there's a Minnie Mouse face on the back of it. Do they have premium bars? You think they have premium bars, Sarah? There she slugs back her Red Bull. Probably have those SpongeBob guys. Oh, those are delicious. My sister's FaceTiming me. Alrighty, we're getting off. We're gonna head downtown on the blue line. Jamesy boy has been asleep this whole time. But he's he's been napping way better. And I think he's growing. He's got a lot more hair. Like rather than like two or three days ago. <laughs> and now he can blow raspberries. This is also really cute. It's an Italian ice place. Ooh. So he's basically ready for college. Basically. This is sad. Sad, sad, sad. <gasps> what do you see? Oh. All the tall buildings? We're walking through Millennium Park to get to Grant Park to relax a little bit. And this was closed the last time we were here. And usually it's covered, it's filled in with water. Right, it's like, you can just splash through it in the summer. All right, so we are in Grant Park, which is just south of Millennium Park. That's the Art Institute. I think I'm up bus, hi. James is finally out of the stroller. We're gonna sit in the grass and have some water and some Cheez-Its before we head back home. Mom and dad need a little bit of a break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fun day. Super. Fun time, Jamesy boy. Oh god. We will. Oh. We will be honest. We did think the 606 was going to have more to look at. It was a really nice path overall. There's like, supposed to be street art, and there was one piece of art. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't lie. <laughs> no. And maybe like there is more at each of the ends that we didn't see. Um, but we would for sure go back, but just with different expectations. Yeah, and I'd go, I like to go back to actually run it. Yeah. Oh God, he's so happy.
We are leaving. You guys in your little baseball hats poking out of your hoods, matchy matchy. <laughs> We're going to State and Van Buren to hop on the bus and go home. We're home. I don't know if we said that yet. And I think we have a baby that might officially be cutting a tooth because he got home and he's just been obsessed with chewing on things. I put him in his in this froggy chair that's got some really great chews and I put a, one of his favorite chews on there and it's finally like eased his mind. And we thought we'd top off the night with the uh, little showing of the Santa Claus. I heated up the last of our red sauce with some spaghetti and plant-based Italian sausage. It's Veal Life brand, never tried it. Um, hopefully it's tasty. Always gotta top your spaghetti with salt and pepper. All right, our night is coming to an end. We have James in his weighted sleep sack, which has been doing wonders. I'm gonna show you here the two books that we got from Out of the Closet. They both were a dollar. So this is a, a Nat Geo we're actually probably gonna take the that sleeve off and just keep it like this, hardcover. The Net Geo Guide to the National Parks as like a display piece. And then this, I've always wanted to get, is In Defense of Food. Um, it's supposed to be a really good book about eating whole food, not as much processed, and that leading a lot to economic and health and overall global issues as the, all the processed foods in our lives. He also, like... He never had like a true four month sleep regression, but his sleeping pattern just sort of changed. I talking about you. And so this has kind of really helped just like, I don't know, what would you say, like he fall, he stays asleep when he goes into his bassinet. Yeah, what was happening is he's gotten so big that when we put him in his bassinet, he would move his legs and then realize he can now lift them and keep them up and move them around. Yo, you. So now with this weighted sleep sack, it calms him and it keeps his legs from going crazy. So then he stays asleep. Yeah, his arms are free, so if he rolls, he can push himself up. He's such a cute kid. You vlogger? Tell us all your thoughts. Yeah! Wow. You're the best. Quite the review. Should we go to bed now? Yeah. I almost forgot that Sarah got this this blouse, this top. Yes. For. <laughs> Want to wear it on Easter? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the arm. There we go. You have no idea what kind of style it is, but that'll just be for the reveal on Easter. Great. There's also. A big spider up there that I can't reach, so it's going to drive me nuts all night. All right, the daily message, March 27th. It is by Anonymous. People overestimate what they can do in a single day and underestimate what they can do in their whole lives. Ain't that the truth? It's good to be home. Wait, real quick. Yeah. We'll show you the American Cancer Society little magic mail we got today, tomorrow. And... James and we started his cough diapers journey today, so we'll keep you updated on how that goes. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.